Welcome to part 15 of my Kikaris Uprising video walkthrough, and today I am gonna battle Medusa, yay. And, uh, th 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 I'm very low intensity because I'm just doing really low intensities, just, uh, so I really don't die. I'm assured I don't die. And, yeah. So, <laughs> yeah. I'm assured I don't die, and... Yeah, I'm just in a really awkward position because I'm usually used to playing while moving while playing. Like uh, when I'm sitting down and playing, I'm moving. But uh, here I'm just standing and playing this like very still. So uh, it's just a very awkward position for me. Um, yeah. So that's why I'm playing on really low intensities. And if you're wondering why I'm not using the three sacred treasures, it's because I have a choice because I beat this before. Um, yeah, and once you beat this, you have a choice not to use them or to use them. I choose not to use them because mine, my weapon's, like, way stronger than they will ever be, so. Yeah. So, this part gets pretty difficult because you're just going down really slowly, but there are, there's a bunch of enemies and it's easy. I just use rapid fire, but, uh, also dodging really quickly would help. Um, yeah. That would be helpful. Also, there are a bunch of orcs over here that are soul-eating monsters, will kill you. And, uh, a bunch of little... Yeah. So... Crap. Oh, God. So just go to your exact right or left uh, when getting into that. So, yeah. Also, this chapter is very, very long. And I really, uh, am probably going to make four parts for this whole chapter. Usually I make two parts for one chapter, but this chapter is long. And it's the main event, so I'm just going to make a one big chapter. And if I die in this, I'll just repeat it really quickly. Just go through where I saved off. And just repeat it, just going fast forward, and then leave off where I was. <sighs> God, that was a lot of talking. Um, what else? Uh, once you get down here, it gets a lot easier for some dumb reason. It should probably get harder, but uh, just just dodge a lot of uh, those torpedoes and use rapid fire. And then Dark Pit comes in. Yeah, so, uh, Dark Pit starts to be, uh, on your side, um, ah, oh god, I hate these so much. I'm just rapidly pressing A right now, uh, that's why the DS is moving a lot. So, yeah, just, avoid that. yeah. So, with any swinging monster in air, I just go to your exact right or left to just get away, or, or up and up or down. Just just the opposite where they are. That's how I get away from them. So we've made it this far. You better watch your back. Isn't that just precious? Guess it's all that hot air that keeps you flying. You are darling. But you'll need more than bluster to defeat me. This isn't bluster. In the name of the goddess of light, I will defeat you. Then you have to defeat this thing, which is dumb, and I really actually died in the last part of this, so... Um... Uh, yeah. Let's take it to walk through. Uh, just rapidly dodge and shoot. That's all you have to do with this thing. And hit the eye. Hit the little eye thing. See what I mean by dodging? <laughs> yeah, just hit the eye, hit the middle, the red thing in the middle, just... That will probably help. And just... You really can't dodge that attack. But, um, yeah. Dang it. God. Yeah, but as you... Oh, God. I probably might die on this. Yeah, so as long as you're not in the middle of that, that attack won't work. Yeah, and then 
then uh, Dark Pit comes in, and once you get far enough in the battle, Dark Pit comes in and just does that. And so it's pretty useful. <laughs> That's how you take out a boss. For future reference, face kicking isn't usually this effective. Get a move on before more defenses show up. Batu's right. We should go, even if it means taking orders from him. Thanks, Batu. Please stop calling me that. Hey, get ready to go in. All right. So that ends part one of the final battle with Medusa. I will see you in part two.